So what we're going to do today, I've got a couple of back straps that I've taken out of an animal, pulled them out of the cool room and just show you how I prepare them and marinate them sometimes. So first of all, just take the back skin off, the sinewy stuff off the back, and you've also got the white on there. So the easiest way I find to do this, and you just get a sharp knife up and underneath. And then if I run that knife, down underneath the meat, most of that will then just peel off. Clean it right up, and then I will just basically cut that straight in half, and the knife just goes straight through, and there's your, your steak ready to, to marinate. What I will then do, I'll bring this over a bit closer, I'll just do one of these for the sake of showing a bit of olive oil in the bottom of the container and put our meat in and just coat it all in the oil and then I've just got a basic rub this one's a Texan rub you can choose whatever you like experiment with just different flavors and just Coat that around that, and that can now stay in there and marinate for days. In fact, I've had some I've had in the fridge for up to three, four weeks. As long as it's got oil over that, it's not going to go off. Hi guys, well, 10 days ago we had this meat marinating. What I've now done is taken some out and rested on a plate and left it on the bench for some time, probably about half an hour to come back up to room temperature. Now I'm just going to show you how I cook this as a whole piece of meat with the steak. And what I'm going to do is get some mushrooms, make a mushroom gravy with a bit of slaw and make a nice easy meal for late Friday afternoon. Hope you enjoy. I've already got the pan preheated. Here goes the piece of venison. And I'll cook this for about six to eight minutes. So we'll just leave it on one side for about two minutes, turn it over, then on, on the other two edges, Give it a couple of minutes and then we will rest that for about 10 minutes. Okay, so you can actually see where the heat's starting to get into it. I'll now turn that over to the opposite side. And give that a couple of minutes. Okay. And you just see on the end here how the colour's coming all the way around slowly. Now what we'll do is we'll take the meat out, place it on the plate here with the alcohol and wrap it up and allow it to rest. It's nearly been eight minutes now. And as you can see from the end there, it's cooked pretty well most of the way around. It'll still be a little bit raw in the middle. If we leave that now, that will rest and we can go on and do our gravy. When you do your mushroom gravy, you might want to add a little bit of thyme. Give it a real bit of a kick. Okay, now in with the gravy. You just to glaze the pan at the same time to get all of the flavours off the bottom. Always helps to add a tad. Absolutely beautiful. So what we'll do now is just check how the meat is. Been resting. Okay, so I've cut that. If you have a look inside there, it's pink, but not red. Absolutely ideal for medium rare. If you find that after your, your 10 minutes, it's a little bit red inside, best thing to do, put 
put it back in a very hot pan, sear it on either side when you just cut it into your sort of inch strips or 25 mil strips, either side, very quickly, either side of sear, sear it off. Throw on a bit of coleslaw. We have a few veggies we're throwing together, just some carrots and broccoli. Throw those on first, then add the meat and a bit of gravy. Now Jack's not allowed in the house, so thank you Jesus for our food. Army, it's beautiful free range beef. Look at that, a little bit of pink in there, ready to go. Five star restaurant with home cooking rates. Hope you enjoy.